<sighs> okay. So the days of Adi Chu being a psychopath in Red Dead Redemption 2 are not over. In this video, I'm going to be trying to see if I can make the entire world of Red Dead Redemption 2 extinct. Every human, every animal, every bird, ever like literally every living thing I want to try and delete off the map. So I'm going to be real, I have no idea if this is even remotely possible, but I have to find out. So let's just go to the nearest town and just try and see what happens if I just try to kill literally everybody. We're going to start with the humans here. All right, we made it. Now let's just start killing. Okay, what the hell? What was that? How was the gun that inaccurate? Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Kill them all. I'm gonna make you all extinct. Honestly, the streets are already looking pretty empty. We might already be making good progress here. It's really just the cops that I have to keep worrying about. Ugh, okay. So I've been killing people for like 30, 45 minutes, and no matter what I do, the cops will just not stop spawning. And I'm like literally struggling for life here. From what I've seen though, the town is pretty much mostly deserted, but not quite. Cops are still here. It's not quite to the level of extinction. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this city. But I think I know what our problem was. I think we bit off more than we could chew when I tried to go for Santini. Santini's a really big city with a big population so trying to make a city that big extinct to start was probably a mistake what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to go to a smaller city and see if i can make that extinct first oh crap sorry press the wrong button come back horse all right, so we've made our way to Van Horn. Now I've chosen this city for two reasons. One, there's no law enforcement here, so we don't have to worry about cops spawning. And two, this town is small enough. So let's just try to do what we did in Saint Denis. Try to kill everybody and see if we can really empty out this whole town. Got my repeater, let's do this. Extinction commencing, come on. All right, crap. I think I'm gonna need to find some nice cover here for this because this town is known for being particularly aggressive. Ah! Oh god, see what I mean? Look at this dude. <laughs> Shut up. All right, so no one is fighting back, so I'm gonna take it that at least all the aggressive people are dead. No, like see, I want to make sure every nook and cranny is satisfied and clearly there are still people walking about. I'm gonna look around every corner and make sure we got everyone. No one in here, okay great. Everyone in the saloon is dead. No one at the post office. Oh, looks like this dude's probably coming back from a little walk. He has no idea that his entire town has just been made extinct. Sorry, but whoever you're looking for here is gonna be dead. And so are you, because you also live here. Okay, so I checked every corner and I think I can safely say that I've made Van Horn extinct. I'm thinking it's time we go for a bit of a bigger town here. So we're gonna try Ansberg. Probably stock up on some ammo though, because I, yeah, I've used up pretty much almost all of it. Trying to make the entire world extinct. You'd be surprised how quickly it takes all your bullets. All right, here we are. It's your people's turn. Come on. God damn, look at all those X's. God, this is a lot of dead bodies. I finished killing everybody. I mean, look, there's a dead person. It's another dead person. I'm just looking for any stragglers around here. Got him. But yeah, I'm like, I'm literally not seeing another alive soul here. There are people that keep periodically coming into the city, but um, yeah, I just handle them as I come in. I mean, even all the people. In this factory here, all deceased. Who's working this factory? I mean, that's interesting that it seemed to work in Ansberg, but not in Saint Denis. And yeah, like no one's around now. All right, let's try one of the most beloved towns in Red Dead, Valentine. Now this is another pretty small town, but I have a feeling that this one might be a challenge because it's kind of like out in the open. All right, here we are. God, they're so helpless. So for the, the sheriff's office here, I'm gonna make sure I come prepared. I'm gonna immediately throw some dynamite in that direction. Just to make sure that the sheriff isn't gonna be a problem. Oh my god. 
Okay, I genuinely killed so many lawmen that the lawmen actually stopped spawning. Yeah, because like right now, like as I'm looking around here, I mean, I've gotten all the horses too. I mean, okay, there's just a dude sitting there casually as if like literally everyone hasn't been murdered. What are you doing, dude? Now I'm pretty sure everyone in Valentine is dead. Besides the few wagons that still come in periodically. Hold on. Wow, dude, you are bleeding quite a bit. <laughs> what is this dude? I just, this dude just walked. Dude, what are you doing? He's still bleeding. Well, I guess that's it. Okay, that dude's definitely gonna bleed out, so I'm not even gonna bother shooting him. <laughs> Will these wagons stop coming into the town, though, please? It's like, I kill the town, but, like, it's like the people that keep coming in just keep getting spawned in. It's, like, almost impossible to keep up with that. I don't know if this is gonna be possible. These They won't stop. All right, well, well, you know what? I'm gonna have to leave. I'm gonna have to leave because if I don't, I'm gonna get overwhelmed. So I wish I could say making Valentine extinct was a success, but honestly, we can't because the people would not stop spawning in. You know, actually, I want to check. Let's go back to Van Horn. Let's see if there's people there because if I really made those places extinct, then those places should still be empty. All right, I'm back in Van Horn and oh God. Okay, so as you can see, the NPCs have respawned. Which means I didn't even really make them extinct. Okay. So I'm gonna guess the situation is probably gonna be the same in Ansberg. Oh, yep. People are back. So it seems like even if you go on like a complete and total massacre, like over time, the cities will repopulate themselves. So time is kind of the enemy here. I think this means it would be kind of virtually impossible to make the entire map extinct. Or is it? Okay, just hear me out for a second. I'm gonna use some mods. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my horse fly. All right, sweet. Now additionally, I'm gonna give myself explosive ammo. I've used this before on the channel. It's just really, really powerful stuff that can like basically decimate populations. And the reason that I'm giving myself these powers is that the key I think is beating time. Okay, I need to try and kill the entire map in like under five minutes. If I can do that, I could potentially prevent the cities from repopulating. So we're gonna start with Ansberg and I'm gonna make my way all around the map. Yeah, kill them all, kill them all. Jeez, place looks like a post-apocalyptic war zone. All right, on to the next town. All right, quickly to Van Horn, to Van Horn. Van Horn should be quick too. Come on, get the entire town. Get the entire town, make circles, make fire circles. <laughs> Pretty much everyone in this town's already dead now. All right, that was really quick. All right, next town. All right, come on, Emerald Ranch, Emerald Ranch. God, I really hope my game doesn't crash. All right, next town, next town. Saint Denis. Oh God, okay, this one is genuinely gonna take a while. Let's do this. Come on. Apocalypse is here. You know what, actually? While we're using mods, we should probably add some natural disasters into the mix. Meteor shower, tornado. Oh God, holy crap. Oh my gosh. Right, the world is literally turning into a freaking, like, apocalypse. Literally no one is around. Okay, look. Look at this NPC. <laughs> They're literally breaking. Get me out of here. Get me out. What is happening? Okay, we're back. All right, and if you're wondering how the black hole, the tornado, and the meteor shower isn't affecting me, it's because I've basically made it to where it only affects everyone else and not me. Oh my god. Look at my poor horse. Okay, I am literally seeing no one. I'm seeing people like pop up on the minimap, but everyone's just getting sucked up by the black hole. This is over for you. Oh my god. Oh, and here comes the meteors. Honestly, I don't even need to do my my explosive bullet plan anymore. Oh, I can just sit back, relax, and just let the mod do the work for me. Because I think literally this is gonna make, kill everyone eventually. Okay, let's check out the rest of the world is doing. All right, because Santini is basically in total chaos. Oh my god, look at all the NPCs go! Oh! Oh my god, no! Arthur! Arthur, no! I'm getting trapped in the black hole, this was not part of the plan. It's not supposed to affect me! Okay, I think I've broken the game. Yeah, alright. I'm stuck in the tornado. Listen, this is as close as we're gonna get to extinction. Okay, let, let me let me turn this crap off. Let me. Okay, well this is as close as we're gonna get to extinction. It's just... 
spawning in natural disasters and hoping it kills people because the problem is people will always keep respawning no matter how many people you kill they'll always come back in after a few hours so there's no way to really make the world truly empty i guess you can't make red dead redemption 2 extinct unfortunately i wish you could i tried